subscribe, like, comment, and hit the notification bell. Good morning, friends. How are y'all? Welcome back to my channel. And my name is Brandy, and I follow WW. And it feels like forever since I've recorded. I know my videos are still coming out, but I haven't filmed a what I eat in a day probably I think at least two weeks, which usually I do at least one or two a week just to keep some stock footage. I try to get ahead of the game, if you will. So you always see my videos probably almost like a half a month to a month um, behind. That's how I like to try to do it. But anyhow, I just packed up my lunch, getting ready to go to work. Of course, running late as always. It's like my typical MO, especially on Mondays. So I'm going to make me a to go coffee. <sighs> so, coffee, coffee, coffee. Starbucks dark roast. Like I said, this is gonna be a big one, I feel like. Whoop. Today I'm gonna be fancy and add some of the Smucker's sugar-free Caramel, just a drizzle. I don't really worry about counting it. If you do like three tablespoons, definitely count it because that's three points. I seriously just do a little drizzle. Not bad. It's very hard in the refrigerator. I pop mine into the microwave for 10 seconds. Just a little tip, tippy there. And the zero sugar caramel macchiato from Starbucks. This creamer does count a point for a tablespoon. And actually you can have more than that. It rounds like up. But it's the only creamer I use that counts points for um, one tablespoon. Mm -hmm. but that point is worth it. Mm. I haven't had that combo in a while, so it's hitting really good today. And I apologize if you've seen my same breakfast for a while. I'm eating a frozen breakfast sandwich. I made like 15 different types, not types. I made 15 of three different flavors. Like, I just changed the protein. And I've been freezing them. My husband and I have been eating them. So, you'll see the same breakfast for a while. I change it up some mornings, but this is what I'm having real life. I find for me on my health and fitness journey, it is so much easier if I keep my breakfast and lunch similar. Just because of the thought process, like when I go to the grocery store, I'm only having to think, well, when I meal plan. I meal plan before I go to the grocery store. But that way I'm only really thinking about one meal that I have to keep Weight Watchers friendly. My breakfast and my lunch, I have them on repeat. It's sandwiches or salads for lunch, typically, maybe a TV dinner every now and again. I rarely, rarely stray from those three things. And if I do, it's usually I meal prep like one item like chicken lettuce wraps or something. Just when I'm tired of those. Um, for breakfast, it's breakfast sandwiches or uh, breakfast tacos. It just takes the thought process out of it for me. So I freeze them, put them in my refrigerator the night before, pop it in my air fryer. I already have one going. I like to heat it for about six minutes. Um, I like to get the bread crunchy. I disassemble it, let me show you. Okay, so this is what I mean by disassemble it because I like that bread to get super crunchy. That is what we're going for. I like it that hard. Um, yeah, it kind of dries it out. I do not mind it. So this one has two pieces of Canadian bacon. Half a slice of Velveeta, and that's an egg under there. Put that like that. I had to get something to get it out. So, all in all, this, if you count it per Weight Watcher standard, is six points. However, I'm going to count it five points, and here's my reasoning. The English muffin is four points. These are the regular English muffins. I think they're like the Thomas ones. I do prefer those. Most of the time, I spend the points. There's definitely two-point and three-point English muffins. This time I definitely didn't do that because my husband's also eating these, so we just went full fat, full carb, whatever. But it's four points for the English muffin. That Jones Canadian bacon, if you eat one piece, it's zero points, but you can have up to three for one point. You saw I have two, so that's a point, so we're at five. And then Velveeta cheese slice is also a point, so that's six. However, I do not have the third piece of Canadian bacon, and the Velveeta cheese slice is only half a slice, just because that's the cheese ratio I prefer. So since I'm not taking full advantage of those points, I'm gonna give myself a free point, which actually works out because there's creamer in here is one point. So six points, but you can do it lower. Like I said, you can shave, if you only put one piece of Canadian bacon 
and you use the um, lower point English muffin, this sandwich could be three points. Just saying. I'm not doing that. You do you, but just giving you options. So, okay, it is 8.40, and I work uh, about 40 minutes from my work, and it's raining, so it's going to take me forever. I'm actually eating these in the car, but do stick around because dinner tonight, I'm really excited about. It is like an old school, uh, it's something I eat in college a lot. I ate a lot out of college. I liked it. I only stopped eating them like the packaged ramen once I became on Weight Watchers because there are way too many points. But tonight, I'm showing you an alternative, and we're eating it three different ways. Let me show you the photo. I am going to try to recreate these ramens. I don't have all the ingredients for all of them, but there's a spicy red miso, a creamy chicken, and a roasted pork tonka tusi, <laughs> something like that. But I have most of the ingredients, and we're gonna give it a go. And I'm also trying to make my first ever soft boiled egg to go in the ramen. We'll see how that goes. Come on, dogs. Let me get to work. See y'all guys in a bit. Today's lunch is a salad. And I am going to do what I like to do a lot, and that is bulk up these salad kits. This one's the sweet sesame Asian. This one's like by far my favorite. Um, Walmart has a version. This is HEB's version. I actually think I prefer Walmart's version because it has a lot of the cabbage and that's just what I like. To me, the cabbage ones keep me way fuller than the, like the lettuce-based ones. I have my lunch bowl for today and a Tupperware to keep the excess. I actually probably can get three out of this now that I'm thinking about it. I'm gonna empty it all out. So I divided it between the two bowls and then this is just since I have this left, this cabbage, I'm gonna add cabbage to both of these to bulk it up. And I'm gonna add quite a bit. I like cabbage in my salads. There we go. And again, arugula, just to bulk it up. This bowl is getting too full, <laughs> but that's okay. I wish I had a bowl to shake it. So this will be my leftovers for another day. Definitely could divide this over three. I had more lettuce and cabbage than I thought, or arugula than cabbage. But I don't have a third container, so I'm just gonna do um, two and eating extra lettuce and greens never hurt anyone. These are the crunchies with the, um, they have almond and little crunchies. The only complaint I have about this, and it doesn't impact me, is that the nuts are housed with the crunchies and i have several friends that have nut allergies so therefore they can't buy this salad because of that reason which that just seems silly to me to me you should package nuts separate but that'll go in that container usually i like to add rotisserie chicken but i am actually all out of my freezer i need to go to costco which i just went to costco and i was too lazy oh we bought a chicken that's not true bought a chicken but i ate it <laughs> um I ate it that week in salads and for dinner, so didn't have leftovers. So my point of saying that was I don't have chicken to add to my salad. So instead, I'm just going to uh, do canned tuna. Now, I don't know if I'm going to add this to the salad. That seems a little weird to me. So I'm going to like mix up my salad and then just like bite this and see if it works. Does that make sense? But the dressing, time for the dressing. And I do use it all. I'll use half on this salad and save the other half for my leftovers. Tomorrow's lunch, today's lunch. So this is my lunch. Half the bag of salad is seven points. And so seven points for that, zero, and zero for my Coke, zero. So let me go enjoy this. I'm also gonna have a Kira Kira orange. I'll show you the inside. Um, it's a pink orange, just tastes like a normal orange. Don't mind my eczema there. I'm having a little breakout. It was so ugly this morning and now it's so pretty. But sadly, heading home to go work out. So that is that. But I am excited for my ramen tonight. Like really excited for some reason. So 
we'll see. Usually I try to have a snack in the afternoon at work and I actually brought a snack today. I brought some cottage cheese and cucumber and bell pepper, but I was in and out of lab so much that I just never had time. Sorry if you're moving, I'm not, not sure where to put my camera. But I just never had time to stop and eat it. Now it's time to go home. But I do have a banana. So I'm just going to eat my banana. Um, I'll probably regret this because I do straight work out right, right when I get home. So I like to have a little bit of something on my stomach. But not eat at that minute. My drive home is probably about an hour. 45 minutes to an hour today. And typically I would eat like at 3 or 4 at work. So it's like 2 hours. I don't like to have a full stomach. That's what I'm trying to say. But yet, a banana may not be enough. Do you get all that? <laughs> getting close to workout time yay and I got on my I hate Monday shirt <laughs> isn't it fitting for working out right but I worked out yesterday too I got to do four days a week of lifting so I'm doing Monday Wednesday Thursday and Saturday that's my schedule this week I change it up sometimes so let me get these dogs inside and I'm gonna go work out and then I'm super excited for my ramen um, I don't know why I'm so excited. It's like a convenient item, but I'm just really excited. Friends, I'm excited. This workout is only about, woo, that's going to be too much. Woo wee. Okay, that'll work. This workout is only like 30 minutes long, which I did not know because I'm doing a four-week program. Hi, Ash. And week one and four, the first workout of the week was 45 minutes. So I was happily surprised when I opened up my app and saw that today's workout is only 30 minutes. Apparently in week three, we're changing up what we're doing. So I'm all down for that. <sighs> but I had to grab socks because I wore like boot socks today. And I opened up my dresser drawer and I was so happy. And I was happy this morning too when I grabbed socks. If you want to know why, March is organized. If you didn't know, every month this year I plan to do like an organized video. And for March, I organized my dresser, my bedroom dresser. I didn't know it made me so happy. Like this morning, I did it yesterday, and this morning when I got my socks for work, I was like so, like so happy. And then just now I went to get socks. I came into the gym without socks, but um, I wasn't even thinking about it and I opened the drawer and I just smiled again. So it's the little things in life, I tell you. <laughs> but I don't know if I'll show much of the workout. I always don't know if y'all want to see the workout or not see the workout. You know, I don't, I don't know. You tell me. Tell me in the comments. You like to see the workout or do you not want to see the workout? And if you do like to see the workout, do you want to see it like in regular time or sped up with music? I don't know. But I'm gonna get going, and as always, I am working out on my tonal. Had it for over three years now. Absolutely love it still. Best, like $5,000 I've ever spent. Actually, I don't think it was that much. I can't remember. It was $3,500 to $5,000. It's been three years, I don't know.
excited still. Don't know why I'm this excited. Let me show you what we're working with. Look at all these fun ingredients. Okay, I'll point out what I have and then tell you my overall plan. I have some green onion. I actually have some leftover as well. I'm probably gonna use a little of both. I have some baby corn, some bamboo shoots that are like cut into like little sticks, cilantro, some frozen roasted corn, um, some ganji paste, some brown beech mushrooms. These are really fun. You just cut them off the bottom. I have some eggs. I have some leftover pork carnitas and I have some leftover beef fajita. And then for hopefully the star of the show, I have three packets of ramen. I have spicy red miso, creamy chicken, and roasted pork, however you say that, tonk, tonk, oat juice? <laughs> I'm not good. Oh, I forgot. I got to go grab carrots. But I am going to try to make them as close to the pitcher as I can. Um, and the red miso, the only thing I don't have is like seaweed or any of that. I don't like that, so I'm not going to put it. So in the spicy red miso one, I'm going to put the ganju paste, some mushrooms, some green onions, and then in this one, in the creamy chicken, I'm going to put some baby corn and carrots and regular corn. And then the pork, I'm going to put the bamboo mushrooms and a soft boiled egg. Actually, I'll probably put soft boiled egg in all three. But the way you do it is you boil the, the noodles and it tells you to use two cups to boil the noodle, but then you only plate it with one cup. I'm not going to boil these like three separate. All the noodles are set the same. It's just the seasoning packs that's different. So I'm going to boil all the noodles the same and I have a pot of water for that coming up to heat. And then I have another pot that I'm going to use for the eggs. So I'm only going to cook probably three two soft boiled eggs and the rest I'm just making for um to have hard boiled for the rest of the week I'm not sure how long soft boil takes I don't usually make soft boil so I think I'm gonna go seven minutes pull them out and the rest I'll go like nine minutes uh for the corn I'm gonna take out a small portion and put it in hot water and in the microwave just for a few minutes just so it can get you know um warmed up and not be frozen I guess I'll also need to cook up the mushrooms. Yes. I don't know. Do you cook these? I've never used these baby corns. I don't think so. I don't think anything else has to be cooked. The meats will have to be warmed as well. So, so yeah. So, really, this meal is more about assembling and less about cooking. I am going to saute the mushrooms. And then it is in, like, I'm going to use the same pan and wipe it out. And then I'll saute the corn just to get it warm so I'm not adding it cold. Same with my frozen corn. Since I'll do that, I'll just do a small pan. So I'm actually gonna move this. But let me show you these mushrooms. They're pretty cool. I've only ever purchased them one other time, but uh, we really like them. They have a fun texture. Oh no, usually they're all in one piece, but it's already coming apart. You see how it grows? You literally just cut the bottom off. So let me focus on this and put everything away. And I have showed these, the um, ramen before. I haven't tried it, but I did get this box sent to me for free. They reached out on Instagram. They didn't ask me to make a video or anything like that. They just said, do you want to try ramen? And I said, yes. So there's no obligations for me to try this, but I did show an unboxing in a previous video. And I compared the nutrition in that video to the like, old school, like top ramen. And these were half the points. I think it was like half the less carbs, double the fiber, double the protein. So the, the nutrition is like really good on these. So let me get started. Like I said, I'm not going to show you. I'll show you the assembly at the end. It should be easy. There's not much cooking. See how they just stay perfectly together? Okay, I have my three different flavors in my bowls. And my noodles have been boiling for about nine minutes. Um, I checked them. They definitely uh, have a little texture to them, but like a good texture. They don't like fall apart or anything, so that's good. So I am just going to try to evenly, the best I can, scoop the noodles into the three different bowls. Like I said, I'm making three portions. Each of them already has their seasoning in the bottom. 
And then don't make sure you don't drain your noodles because you're going to use this juice to make your sauce. Typically, I wouldn't be doing three of them at once and it would be a much less to do. <laughs> and then it says use about a cup of the liquid. So I'm probably just going to do like, oh, that was hot. Hot on my hand. Oh, shit. Two ladles is what I'm going to start off with. This is a half a cup of ladle, so it should be pretty dang close. Then depending if you like yours more or less soupy, you can definitely add more of the water as well. I'm just gonna stir these up so it dissolves the sauce, the seasoning pack that was poured in the bottom. Okay, now it's time to build it according to the photo. So the spicy red miso had mushrooms, and mine's not gonna be as pretty as the picture, I'm sorry guys. That one had mushrooms and green onions. And then the creamy chicken has corn. I could do carrots. It has carrots in the photo, but to be honest, this took more work than I thought and I'm hungry, so I'm ready just to go. And it has the little corns and regular corns, so I'm gonna put that in there as well. This one has sugar snaps peas, which I do not have, but that is okay. And then the pork also has mushrooms. So, mushrooms in that one. I'm just gonna go ahead and use all the mushrooms. I think we'll like that. And this one has bamboos. So, bamboo as well. The pork one also has green onions. So, gonna do that. And then a little bit of cilantro on the creamy chicken one. And two of them have soft boiled eggs, but I'm just gonna go ahead and add a soft boiled egg to all of them. Moment of truth. Oh, look, I did it. That's my first ever soft boiled egg. Yay, me. That is it. They look good, huh? I do feel like the red one needs a little red. I know I said I wasn't going to do it until I tried it, but I'm going to go ahead and just add a little bit. Because the photo has something red sprinkled, so I feel like I need it. Darn it, I forgot the meat. So, for the pork one, I'm going to put my leftover pork carnitas. I can't believe I almost forgot the meat. That's funny. And then for the creamy chicken, I'm going to leave off meat because I don't have any chicken. But I have this beef, and I'm going to put the beef with the spicy, um, whatever that one is. I may have put too much beef, but we like a lot of meat. I thought I would have some chicken in the um, freezer, but I didn't. Now let's give them a taste test. So here is the final product, friends. They look yummy, huh? Okay, I'm gonna start and try the, I hate to make them ugly. I'm gonna try the spicy, no, I was trying to say the spicy for last. I'll try the chicken first. It seems maybe the plainest, I guess. I don't know. A little bit of corn, a little bit of noodle. Yeah, that's pretty good. The texture of the noodle is really cool. It's like a plant-based noodle. That's good. It's not overpowering, but that roasted corn is really, really good with it. Okay, onto the pork. I'm telling you, I was excited about this. I like meals when you can make like every bite like slightly different, you know, with all the different toppings. That's why I've been a fan of bowls here lately. Okay, let's see this flavor. The pork is okay, but I definitely think the chicken's more flavorful, which is surprising for me. Okay, now the spicy red one. I'm not gonna get any of the ganji sauce I put in the middle first. I just wanna try it as is. Definitely got some kick to it. That one's good too. So surprisingly, the pork is my least favorite. I love them all. Not sure how my husband and I are gonna eat three bowls of soup tonight, but we'll make it happen. Each bowl is, well, oh, I didn't count the meat. So maybe I should eat the chicken one because this one will only be seven points because nothing else is points. But I don't know. We'll see. We're going to sit down and share these and I'll be back. Hey, friends. I just sat down to edit this video and realized I was missing an end clip. I apologize. Um, so I'm going to do it retrospectively. It's been a while. That video was filmed on like March 25th. And it's now April, uh, April 10th. But luckily for me, I track in my app so I can run it down for you all. 
So for breakfast, I had the sandwich and the coffee, and I counted that as six points. If you want to be technical, it would be seven, but since I did half cheese and not the full three slices of Canadian bacon, I'm counting it as six versus seven. And then for lunch, I did count half a bag of that salad as seven points, which I think is actually accurate. In the video, I may have said I'm counting it as five, but I did have seven in my app. And then the ramen, one package of that ramen is seven points regardless of what flavor you do. And I actually ended up eating about a third of all that. My husband had the rest. And so the only other thing I had to count points for was the meat in the ramen. And I just said it was like five points. It wasn't a lot of meat, but I figured that was just easy. So that puts me at 25 points this day. I didn't have anything for snacks besides... Uh, I ate something in the video, maybe a cucumber or something like that. It didn't count points. So 25 points, not bad at all, but thanks for watching. Sorry, not ending the video properly. Please forgive me. Bye.